What's happening, nasty? Man, that's wrong. Okay. What's your what's your what's your uh what's your letters? What QKW? <laughs> For what's, sure. What's that? Queens Kings Horse. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Real letters, Mike. Not that, not that other shit. Yeah, you know the Scrabble letters. Yeah, we got we in trouble for can a, can a king and a queen be a whore? <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> Damn. See, they kind of is... lose their shit. Though, right? <laughs> Are you a king after you a whore or a queen after you a whore? It's rehabilitation stage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's a sick We're ass talk. It's levels. Yeah, that's what? a different 12 steps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause you can recover from being a whore, but the scribble letters ain't no recovery. Nah, it you ain't. Can't. Ain't no recovery. Once you step over in that lane, it's over with. <laughs> yeah, what, what's the letters? <laughs> you, what you, you want to say do if you automatic? A, a B C D E F G. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get them a scribble, you, you automatically them, win. You automatically you, win a game. Cause you ain't spelling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. You ain't spelling the motherfucking thing. Hey man, they was in our comments laughing like, but I said Scrabble letters. I was like, damn, y'all finally caught it. Brother T. <laughs> the 40. Lawrence, no, Lawrence Central. Lawrence nope, North. Pike. You went to Pike? Yeah. Damn. I should have went to Northwest though. Northwest? Yeah, I was going to Northwest. I think grew you would have made it from Northwest? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's where I grew up over in that area. Ooh-wee. So I, I went between. Gateway and Howville in the land. Northwest. Oh, you went to Tech, right? Yeah, I went to Dusty Tech. Ooh. We oh, yeah, had some. Dusty. A lot of my people went to Tech, too, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tech. But you went to Ripple. Yeah. I know, but Ripple. I had a mixture. Yeah. So people that were supposed to go to Tech, they came to Ripple. People that were supposed to go to Northwest, Ripple, Arlington, Ripple. Yeah. We yeah. had people from Forest Manor. Because back in the day, you could use your auntie's address and go to a high school, mm-hmm. a different high school. That's how I first went to Pike. You use somebody's right? address. Yeah, I was using my cousin Kawana address. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Man, uh, if the NBA would have knew you used the address to get <laughs> to there. <laughs> they gonna find out you was a free and reduced lunch, boy. Man, this what? motherfucker what... used the address. <laughs> if he hadn't have used that address, he wouldn't have made it to the league. <laughs> He was one address from going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> but so, a zip code away from Marion County. A zip code from Marion County, Especially man. the little brother. Yeah. Oh, put that on Mook like that. Hey, yeah. nah, nah. for real, for real. Nah, dead ass. Little brother was off the hook. Nah, he was wild. He was a wild boy still. That's the thing about Indianapolis, man. It's, it, you, you, you know, when you're young, you bored. It ain't nothing to do. Yeah, mm. that's a fact. Yeah. So most, most of the guys, Growing up young, they first case was they didn't have nothing to do. They was crazy. bored. Right. Straight up. Well, we all though. did some wild stuff. We I'm telling bored. you, in Indiana, man, this is quiet, wild ass city. <laughs> he said quiet, wild. <laughs> quiet, wild. Because motherfuckers really don't know nothing about it. Yeah. You got to explain. Everywhere we go, we got to explain to a motherfucker. Everywhere I go down south, somebody be like, damn, the movie Hoosiers? Y'all niggas live on a cornfield? No wonder why y'all love traveling. Get to see some city yeah. life. I'm like, fuck y'all. We got downtown. We got a mall. Like and people then really when don't. you travel, you realize that it's real people from everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All over the world. Yeah. You know? yeah. I met people from uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama that was raw. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody you don't want to see on the basketball court or whatever. You know, they got dudes everywhere. Yeah, I seen Alabama, how they get down. Oh, they I can't real. wait to talk about that. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. 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 Hey, but we back. Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. We got a special, special guest to my left. We're going to introduce my man's last to my left. Far left, Bishop Greenleaf, my boy being here out the Pearlies. How you what? Greenleaf. Yeah, <laughs> Hold on, Mike. He's the first person to baptize R. Kelly. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Chill, bro. That is wild. I put respect to your resume. No, bro. you not, bro. They leave R comments, out of this. Are you a real bishop? And no. I want to give you respect. Leave R out of this, man. The no, R is my fault. <laughs> nah, what up, How man? Did you get bishop. We'll talk about that, Mike. Let's get let's pod first, Mike. We'll talk about that, Mike. Hey, we start off. Ain't a lot to do in Indianapolis. He started his own ministry, Mike. 
Yeah, that's where the QKW came from, man. Right? Yeah, see, and on that note, to my right, we got my boy, <laughs> Young Nacho, Young T. How nah, you what, I'm man? I'm good, man. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. Young Nacho. Young Nacho. Don't ask him how he got it. Don't, ask yeah, Keith. Yeah, ask, ask one of my homeboys, man. But to my left, man, I'm geeks. Honored. We got a legend, a real legend from the city of Indianapolis. We don't have too many people from the city who go out and represent who really we are in the city. And he's done this in every single time, philanthropist, comedian, entrepreneur, overall. Most importantly, he from Indianapolis, the guest, the God, my man, Mike Evans. Appreciate you. Five, two, five, oh man, five, five, anytime, five. man. Any Anything for the nap, brothers. Hey, hey, hey <laughs> we showing the full work. Look, we showing our feet. These are by the dough. Is them by the dough? Yeah, yeah them by the dough. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real body though. So he be capital here. Back. By the back though. Oh, that back though different than Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, that was crazy. That was wild. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. Be a deer on the back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit. man, Mike, you been a deer with a tongue ring. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's a, hey, that's a different. I ain't never seen. Yeah, I ain't seen that one. That's a different Milwaukee buck. <laughs> They're probably in Atlanta, not that. <laughs> they migrate to the Midwest oh, in the summer. Man. That's a different species. <laughs> Yo, so with this dude, man. my dear. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> we already started at a good spot, man. Before we get to the episode, we always ask our guests a crazy question. So for you, man, obviously, Naptown legend in the flesh. And I know you love sports, and this is a sports podcast. So I got to ask you, what hurts you more? Reggie getting that layup blocked by Tayshawn Prince or Andrew Luck retiring at halftime? Andrew Luck retiring at halftime. I that think that's really hurt. It's one of the places, it's one of the things that everybody in the city remembers where they at when that happened. Where was you at when you heard that, Mike? I don't know exactly where <laughs> I was, but I know how the fuck it felt. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Cause at the time, man, I was bragging on a coat so much. I, I'm like, everywhere I went, man, I was the only coat fan. You know what I mean? So you can only imagine how that feel. And then for your quarterback to bail out on you after we gave up. A quarterback that went and won a quarter, a, a, a fucking Super Bowl. Ooh, Ooh, damn. So you know, both of them was playing on a man's mind. Yeah. You know, like yeah. damn, we could have kept the old man and just oh man, it was bad. Damn, he murdered, dipped out and got a chip. To Andrew Luck had to use that PTO on us. Yeah, and dipped out on us, man. Damn. I thought you was gonna say Reggie. I'm gonna keep it real. Nah, I man. I'm. 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 You know what, the Pacers, man, I, I love, I've been a Pacer fan since I was a kid. Yeah. But I can't keep rooting for no team that don't go far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn who it is. I'm tired, man. Hey, you sick of me? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm wore out, man. Yeah. Cause I gotta go deal with that shit out in the regular world. Go get a star. Yeah. Go get some stars and 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 build the team, man. And it's a couple of, the Pacers know how to build a team. They didn't have a great championship team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I guess they let that fight up there in, in Detroit keep them from picking right, but yeah. you, gotta you gotta go be get mixed. them wild dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be mixed to come to the Pacers. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. right now you do. But yeah, but y'all got y'all y'all doing all right. I hate them too, but I just been. You gotta be mixed. You gotta be mixed. Yeah, y'all. They stars. can't they can't go to Northwest to yeah. play for the Pacers. Y'all star is mixed, so and it makes sense. Tyrese Halliburton holding shit down, man. You know, you got a solid all star, and you know, I think y'all gonna make the playoffs this year. Yeah, they're gonna be good this year. They got Halliburton, they got Mathurin, mm -hmm. Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill. They should be all right. Yeah. We're gonna be solid. Yeah, but I, mean, I don't think they're gonna make it to the finals or nothing. But oh, they, nah, they that's definitely what I'm gonna saying, make and that's what I'm saying. Why do it if you're not gonna try to? You you gotta go get some veteran players. You gotta go mm. pay some people, man. You gotta bust that gotta pay. check out, man. They you thinking, gotta go get some shit. But Mike, they thinking since the Milwaukee Bucks did it, you know, him and them. Uh, <laughs> him and him. Short yeah. distance. They trying to, you know what I mean? They thinking like, shit, we a small market. Why can't we make it straight? Man, so, you did get a ring, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I snuck out of there with a ring. Yeah. Shit. Hey, man, on the good that is, that's, that's all you can ask for. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right? Pretty much, I guess. But I mean. You wasn't chasing it either. No, I wasn't. Yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't mean, chasing no, it. That nigga sure wasn't to, chasing it. I, mean, I wasn't chasing it. I ain't really I mean, care. I mean, to go to Milwaukee is not chasing it. 
Am I lying? No, nah, nah. we weren't chasing it because I was thinking about going to the Clippers or Milwaukee, so I wasn't really chasing it. Well, I'm happy it. you ain't yeah. go to the Clippers. I, I am. I'm happy you didn't go Me to the Clippers. Me too. I'm glad because we won a ring. But. Out the gate. But now he want to be a winner. I mean, I don't care about that shit. <laughs> you two comment, they be like, yeah, he run a wing, baby. I don't, I don't care <laughs> about that, but I mean, we did win. Nah, so. they did. Fuck it. Mike, I got a question here. Uh, two cities, we always go back and forth with. <laughs> what city you pull it up in first, Milwaukee, or are you going to Minnesota? I think I'm going to go to Minnesota. Shit, I ain't. <laughs> going to Minnesota? Oh, nah, that. I'm banned from Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. They, they ain't fucking yeah, with me in Minnesota. They don't like nah, Minnesota. Nah. Did you play that? Yeah, yeah, we had bad rapport. Ooh, <laughs> See, was... I, don't, I don't know about the living status, but Milwaukee is dusty. <laughs> <laughs> you be doing your that show? need lotion on it, man. <laughs> the whole city? <laughs> Woo, the whole city. <laughs> Did the whole city sound like Doc Rivers' voice? <laughs> man, I'm telling you. Damn. That city is rough. <laughs> and the living conditions ain't, you know what I mean? A whole food is out of town. You gotta go to <laughs> Chicago to go to Whole Foods. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's the worst city you ever performed in? Uh, Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Damn, for real. At the Star Dome. The G. Lord. Shout out to all my guys, <laughs> man. To the to the <laughs> man. Shout out to the You gotta God. paint the picture. What happened, man? What was going on? Man, it was a lot of uh, full length leather <laughs> coats. It looked like a wild, wild west, man. It was, it was wild. Well, we guys from the G. Uh, hey, what y'all got going on up there? Y'all had Mike Shook up there. Y'all had to dress like the Matrix. Hey, man. The Shout Gary, out to the two one nine. Gary is no joke. It is a, it's a it, but you know what? It's a beautiful place. It got some great people in the city, but For sure. the city need to be gentrified. And and, uh, and once it do, it's gonna be the greatest city in the world, man. Shout out to the new mayor, sir, coming out, man. They got a new mayor. Uh, named Brother Eddie that's, that's running for mayor. I think he's going to win, man. And we're going to try to get up there in Gary and try to do something nice for that city. That's all it needs is some love, man. Yeah. yeah. But it's a rough town now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my guy BJ, man, from Gary. Shout out to 219, uh, man. Yeah. But speaking of revamps in the city, man, um, like we said, man, you represent the city better than like anybody has. And for you to come back to the city and bring that energy back to the city, man, we really appreciate that. We love you to tell the people, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on in that right now. Well, you know what? Indianapolis is growing. I remember it was two buildings downtown. Now it's three. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's it's a growing town, man. You know, um, and I've always did, you know, habitat work with, with houses and helping people in the community and stuff. Most of the stuff I do like that, I don't really don't tell nobody, man. You yeah. know, it's, it's really close to the hip and it's genuine work. But um I always wanted to bring a a, a, a performing arts school to Indianapolis for um, at risk youth. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of these kids they don't they don't have a they don't have a purpose, man. So yeah. that's why they running around here bored, trying to figure out who they are and what they're getting in trouble is because they really don't have nothing to look forward to. So I want to bring an art school here so kids can learn that you don't have to be a uh, 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 an actor to be rich, you can you can be in a, a craft service. You can work the film, the camera. You can. There's a lot of different jobs in Hollywood that you can work and learn and make a great living off of. Yeah, you know, I mean, like 40, 50 jobs on a movie that people make lots of money. And kids be shocked. They be saying, "Damn!" I say, "Yeah, man." The guy who runs the sound, who holds the boom, they be rich, man. They millionaires. Yeah. Sound. I'm just saying, you know, it's, yeah. it's it's a lot of different opportunities. So, you know, um, that's what I want to share and uh, share with the kids. Yeah, that's fire. Like you said, bring opportunities from the city that you grew up in, knowing what you know, giving back. Yeah, man. That's fire, man. I got to ask you a question, though. You know what I'm saying? How did Indianapolis prepare you for Hollywood? Well, you know what? You really don't know it. it, 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 it you know, if you if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. You don't know it until you leave, mm. you know, because it's so small, you know, your chances are really, really small. Your opportunities are slim. Yeah. And again, you have to prove yourself over and over when you from here, you know. I had to prove myself a million times um, to people because it's not a big market, you know. 
And when you say it, people are like, because they don't have the history on it. There's not really a cultural history here, not for black people. Right. You know, right. so so when you hear about a black man from Indianapolis, I mean, and half the people don't even, if you say Indianapolis, they'll say Michael Jackson because they don't, <laughs> they just That's can't differentiate dif- nah, differ- the, the, the fact, the, the Gary from Indianapolis, they just say Indiana. They say Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson's <laughs> not from Indianapolis. Right, right. So, you know, it it it's uh it, it has its pros and cons. I've learned to use it as a uh, you know, it helps me because I'm like, damn, as soon as they underestimate me, I'm I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm right. like, damn, oh Lord, that's this is sweet. Right. I don't have the big city pressure on me, you know? Yeah. yeah, and that's what's dope for us. Like, we growing right now, so like, for a lot of people out there, we they first view in Indianapolis, and we want to represent the city the way we Well, y'all doing it well. That. Yeah, y'all doing that, it well, man. man. I just bro, seen a bro. clip of y'all on the Instagram the other day, man, the little controversial joint he had. That, but I like that, man, because <laughs> that's what this is about. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's about shit. Yeah, it's about, it's about, you know, raising the hairs up on people's arms, man, yeah. shit. And get out your feelings. Yeah. Just having fun. Yeah. Fact. It is. And it be like legit debates that niggas have at, at barbershops anyway. We yeah, you don't have to fun. agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not. People take that as a uh, as as an argument or a diss, but yeah. you don't have to agree with nobody. Like, if you don't like something, you don't like it. Yeah, but it, we ain't hating on nobody. That's why I be trying to tell people yeah, too. That's like something you don't like. He might like D Wade. I might like James Harden. But he ain't throwing no slight at James because he no. like D Wade more. Just yeah, you know what I'm saying it's that's just, it. People take that shit out. They of both context. goats. We just yeah, right. Which we, one you prefer? We yeah. compare legends. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But Mike, back to you, man. I gotta ask a question. You've done so many things in your career. What's one role or one thing that you was like, damn, I almost had it, or I wish I had it? Um, uh, I definitely was. Um, wanted to play a full Richard Pryor movie. I got a chance to play him in a, a couple different mm-hmm. times, but I wanted to play a full Richard Pryor movie. Biopic. You know, by a biopic. But I played it in uh, Winning Time about the Lakers. Yeah, fire show. Yeah, and I played it a little bit in a Nina Simone movie. So I got a chance to pl- play him a little bit, but not a full movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember you doing interviews talking about how you was locked into the role and how you got into yeah. that mode. Yeah. For you doing so many different types of cinema, and obviously you have some movies where it's just like, that's Mike Epps as a character. How is it for you to be like, all right, I need to get into this character, and how long does it take you to come back to Mike Epps? Well, I'm always me now. I ain't gonna never just go all the way away from me. <laughs> for but, sure, for sure. But, but I, I always pick and, and add some nuances of whoever that character is, because the story itself, um, if you tell it in an acting form, it's going you you going to turn into someone else. Mm-hmm. As long as you follow the story. Right. You know, and you adding a few little thing character pieces, but you know, I really don't never go away too far from myself. You know, I'm I'm still me. Cuz we had Columbus Short on this motherfucker. He said he turned into the full goddamn character. Yeah. And they, they got kinda, different kind of actors, man. Yeah, they, they got they got Yeah, I think Columbus come from like that kind of acting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they say if you if, if he if they say you're a bottle, he'll get on the table and turn <laughs> as the bottle. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. No, no, for real. No, no, no. They yeah. call it method. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He said he was method. Yeah, Columbus would call to say we're the action believe, but I understand <laughs> what you said. Yeah. For real. No, no, they call I'm it method. About, uh, I forgot the gentleman's name, but he said he was a method actor, so he indulged in all his vices. And he said that kind of led to some of the things that happened in his life. So I always wonder what actors like. You know, obviously, you you are you in every role, and that's the, the dope. But part I, about I it. but I've indulged in in them things anyway. I didn't have to be in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday afternoon, <laughs> party pack, Mike. <laughs> I brought the party with me, baby. Yeah, I already indulged. Yeah. I had a question. Go ahead. Which role did you enjoy playing more? Your role in Friday or your role in All About the Benjamins? Probably all about the Benjamins. Yeah. But I was high in that movie the whole time. <laughs> For real? Yeah I, yeah, I was doing drugs at that time. Real tough. Man, you got some classics, You bro. have at one of the class. That bathroom scene is one of the most <laughs> iconic roast sessions You was high right there in that one? No, nah, I wasn't high then. <laughs> oh. I couldn't afford it then. <laughs> I couldn't afford the drugs at that point. Uh, but, Damn, uh, Q, show up. <laughs> 
got the advance. <laughs> the drugs I was doing, I couldn't afford them at the time. No, uh, uh, um, All About the Benjamins was definitely uh, my more, you know, I was I was in the game. I was happy mm-hmm. to be in the business. Right. And I actually brought that script to Guys Cube. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I brought All About the Benjamins to Ice Cube, and he had, uh, uh, executive producer and starred in it with me, but you know, that was one of my projects that I brought yeah. to, to Cube. You know, a lot of people don't know that, but. Yeah, we didn't nah, know that. Nah, definitely didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, just felt like you was real Naptown in the month. That's my favorite. Yeah, but I just yeah. wanted you to answer that for yourself, but I felt like you was real Naptown real front Naptown. to back to that bitch. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, definitely was Naptown. My, yeah. my favorite Friday after next, though. That's that was shit. My, yeah, that that's was my shit. Moment. Yeah, it was. Right it was. It was, was flagrant than ever. Hey, was, holy moly's done that shot, dog. It's crazy that to just that hold the flies. <laughs> so you taking Friday? You taking Friday after next summer? Yeah, that's shit I was came. Funny. I Ooh, Joe, oh, that's jo- tough. I gotta Jonin, go next Friday. When he was joning on buddy, I said, "Damn, that's lighting his ass." <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my shit. That's what we do. So that's why, like, I ain't against the <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's why I picked that. But that ain't a bad pick, though. That's, that's why I asked you, though. So you from Nap? Did you hoop? Everybody from Indianapolis play basketball. I play basketball, and, you know, I always tell this story. People be laughing. I said, man, I always made the team and played the first two games, and when the report cards <laughs> came out, it was over with. <laughs> <laughs> he got a couple players like that uh, on his team. Oh, that's facts. So, right yeah. there. Yeah, I'm the head coach at Pike High School now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, I went yeah. back and coached at high school. I was working with the Hawks for the last two years, and I came. Man, ain't that fun, yeah. man. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. How is that, man? It ain't too bad, but we do got some players that's going to be like that, though. <laughs> yeah. It is. A couple might get big as Is that a cool feeling, though, man? Nah, it's a great feeling. Damn. Be able to, like... Yeah. Just give back, really, because you don't do it for the and money. And I bet them kids is like, wow, man, Jeff Teague is my coach. Now they look at me like, this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just be clowning with me, so it's cool. That's though. good, though. Yeah. Smart. And not instead of, because, you know, we always grew up looking at coaches. They was like probation officers, too. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They really wasn't. <laughs> no, nah, they were looking at like a fun that. environment, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For, for sure. sure. We had fun. You looking at their mamas and all that. <laughs> And I'm married, man. I'll look. <laughs> I'm married. Hey, yes. 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 I'm married too. Yes. But I'm not blind. Yes. yes. I love this interview. This is my we, favorite we one. We're not already. blind, man. Yeah, my and eyes that's work. that's the thing. Our wives have to understand. We're not blind. Mm, yeah, We're for not sure. going to be disrespectful. Absolutely. Okay. That's but sometimes it's hard to say, okay, <laughs> take it easy. And then do like this. <laughs> Ain't no crime in there. <laughs> nah, it ain't no crime. Just don't get caught. Right. <laughs> you know what's crazy that you said that? So I got to ask you about this. The J. Cole joint, man, when he sampled you, how did you feel the first time you heard that song with that? Because that shit is like perfect. I said, damn, man, my wife ain't heard. I'm going to hope she don't <laughs> never listen to J. Cole's album. <laughs> he dropped the J. Cole. Damn, Cole. <laughs> man, I've been sampled by a lot of these dudes, and I didn't know it, man, and, and shit. They sampled the wrong part. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking shit up. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> was you flattered or were you like, damn, man? What the? You know what, though, man? I I mean, J. Cole is such a great rapper. Shit. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm like, damn, man. He, the youngsters know who I am. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They grew up watching uh, the movies and shit. Mm-hmm. For sure. And For it's sure, cool bro. To, to be able to roll over into another generation. And that's why. That's like you, like you said with your cinema, you got classics, and now you in the music industry. For you, you've always dabbled with that. You always did interludes, but how was it you like? You know what I'm saying? Trying to do your own music, have your own record label. How was that endeavor? Oh lord, that shit was, <laughs> they just played me one of them motherfucking songs. Yep. You know, that, uh, that, uh, laughing like that, that, that Indiana. <laughs> I said, oh my. <laughs> That was that. That was well, after all about the business. I was like, yeah, I don't know. If Mike was high off that shit. Or- I was. <laughs> I was, and see, that's what it do. It make you do shit. You don't, you don't know what you're doing. You just doing shit, and then when you come clear, you're like, "What the fuck was I doing?" And everybody around like, "Yeah, it's cool." It's I said, cool. "Yeah, Mike out of pocket for getting this motherfucker mixer master for even getting it mixed, huh?" Hey, when I seen that, and I paid color, so much money I know to you get did, it mixed. Nick. I told your ass up. You should have went to DJ Gus. He would have got you together. 
<laughs> Man, let me tell you something about the music business will embarrass anybody. <laughs> nah, for real. to facts. I try that to shit was, that label. shit was, that shit was, I mean, like, man, uh, Lillard can rap. For sure. But I'm not buying the album. <laughs> and you're not hearing it in the club. They argue me about that. I'm just being brother. honest with you. That's just that. that he don't make shit for. That music, but no, that business is no joke. That business is, you either got it or you don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and. And you really don't got to be a star to make a hit. That's a little really ball. Weird. Shout like, out to TikTok. Too tight. You know what I mean? It's like. But I'm saying, all right, now that we're talking about music, are you tapped in with this new generation of music? Or are you still stuck? Yeah, I like I like some of the music. Yeah, hell okay, yeah. Okay. I like, so you I ain't like, disconnected from. Hell no. I right. like I like some of the. Yeah, respect. I like. Yeah, I'll be. I listen. I like some of Lil Dirk music. I like some of. I like a few songs on Gunner's new album. I oh, like yeah, that's some hard. Of, yeah, I like some of they shit. Okay. Hey, we got to talk about your music endeavor because you be going crazy on the lives with the mix. I see you, you know, I yeah, see you man, having I be on. mixing it, man. I be <laughs> mixing it, man. Shout out to my man, JF, man. Hey, uh, legend in the city. Yeah, legend love in the JF. city, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Hey, the next 520 party, we got to get you on the Ox and get Jeff off because we can't get him out of 2008, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck in the 2000s, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still playing Wipe Me Down. Damn. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's out of pocket. He's definitely out of pocket. You better not be playing if you're playing right now. Oh, that nigga is. You know what? I'm telling you, I think I think sometimes, man, you don't even know you got left in the sauce. You just fall in love with your shit. Yeah. yeah. And you look up and like, damn. I'm still playing dipset. I, I do it all the time. Like, why the fuck? It'll make am I you feel old. Like Nah, for real. Well, oh, go ahead. I gotta go ahead. ask about that. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, with you being, you know what I'm saying, a legend in comedy. Go ahead nah, nah, nah. You a legend in comedy, but the thing about you is, you've always adapted and still been you at the same time. With social media being such a prevalent situation to like promote your stuff or push your content, how you feel about the new wave of comedians who came from social media? You know what I always say about the new wave of comedians that came through social media is that. The time that they're in right now, best time in the world. Mm. Because, you know, it it's always the group before you who paves the way for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were the group that paved the way for this young group. We had to do Def Comedy Jam. Mm-hmm. We had to do Comic View. We did the Apollo Man. We we worked for $75 a show. Now, these dudes is on the internet. They ain't been on TV. They ain't been on shit. They ain't been in no <laughs> movie. And they making money. Yeah, yeah. They got fans. They right. got, they got, I'm, I mean, for real. It was some yeah. little dude just walked in the Cheesecake Factory the other day. And people was, I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> At the Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> Here? No, I was in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, the girl said, he's a YouTuber. I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, I was in a club with my nephew one night. And he got hyped for a oh, YouTuber, you remember? DDG. Yeah. DDG. Yep. Yeah, I was like, who's that? He's a YouTuber, huh? Yeah, yep. he went yep. crazy. See, that's what I'm saying. And, and and the kids are, the way they receiving entertainment now, they don't receive it like we used to. Mm-hmm. We, if we we had to see somebody on TV to be like, damn. Yeah. Now they like, I seen him on TikTok. I'm <laughs> like, damn, I ain't seen him. I, you know, I ain't seen him on TikTok. Like, yeah. I don't, I'm on, you know. Mm-hmm. It's so it's many of them way. though, it's hard to keep up. Right. Nah, but I seen you on tour with DC on Fly, like when he was on your tour. So oh, I, yeah. I, I could see you embracing the younger comedian. Man, the young, DC Young Fly, Carlos, all the 85 South Shouts dudes. 85 yeah. South. Man, them dudes is, them dudes is, uh, out of the, all the groups of, the, of the young comics, them are the closest ones to what I was. Damn. Yeah. When I was doing it at their age. Damn. They young, they raw. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna be great too. Hell yeah, you know, Carlos is fucking hilarious. Hell yeah. yeah, all of them got little old souls. Hell and yeah. if you get close to them, all of them, you'll smell a little gin on all of them. <laughs> they drinking the gin. Yeah, they, <laughs> all of them, some little old niggas, man. They all smell like a little bourbon or something, man. They got a little bubby face. Yeah, look, uh, oh, like old bourbon, old old niggas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> old Deville. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Carlos. Oh, you know, he got that new leather. Shout out to 85 South. We fucking uh, up. That's crazy. Yeah, man. 
I gotta ask you. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw a couple movie names out at you, and you just tell me your first thought about them. How was it when you got the call to be a Hangover? Man, I was like, I'm, I'm now I'm getting a white check. <laughs> Cause you know, as a black person, as a black guy, you know we always talking about the white man, the white mm-hmm. man. But as soon as he calls, <laughs> hello, <laughs> they called <Hey>. Tyrone. <laughs> hey, hey, all the white people just called <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I feel different. <laughs> I got my money and I was gone. <laughs> hey, 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 black people. Black people don't understand the, the <laughs> dynamic of that. They don't they don't understand that in this society right here, mm-hmm. I don't care who you like and who you don't. You gotta play a game, man. You gotta, mm-hmm. you know, this it's, it's life is a game itself. Yeah. You gotta play it with your own people. So yeah. yeah. But hell, you might as well go on and play it, period. <laughs> and, and that's what we learned in this industry and now, like, you know what I'm saying? We crossing barriers with things a little bit different. We like, ah, we still gotta play ball. You still yeah. got to play ball. Even though Jeff ain't playing in the NBA, now this is a whole nother game you guys are playing, but it's still rules and regulations to this. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and and the only way to make it to that other, you got to, you know. got to play ball. Hell yeah. Play ball. Yeah. Y'all, do y'all remember uh, 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 them two DJs in New York that was off the hook? Man, what was the, the dude? Uh, uh, Who you thinking about? Uh, starring Buck Wild. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Do y'all remember them? Yeah, 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 yeah. No stories. Now, them dudes right there, I got to give them a shout out because they was the <laughs> first. When I tell you, crazy motherfuckers on like doing like podcast, like saying some crazy. Yep. Yeah. Like they talk about Charleston White and all them. No, nah, them dudes right there was off the yep. chain. They just Man. came out too early. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. They came out too early because if they would have came out around like right now, like, we're they'd be Charlemagne. What? Yeah. They'd be Charlemagne, bro. They'd be huge. They was Charlemagne. They was yeah. the first. I'm telling no, you, that was worse than Charlemagne. Charlemagne. He no. was, wasn't it? It was worse. No, he was can't go yeah. on. Uh, was he worse than Charlemagne? Though? Nah, he was worse. Nah, he I know was. early Charlemagne was crazy, crazy. but Star was talking. Crazy. And he was, was on the bro. radio. Yeah. yeah. That's like you if Rick One right. used to get on 96.3 and start talking yeah. greasy. That's one of them. That's out of pocket. And that's what I'm saying. They came out before their time because mm-hmm. they they really like if you know you know type shit yeah, yeah. for real. Nah, right. them dudes was they was they was like you said they was before their time. <laughs> Speaking of New York, hey, Fat Joe said lay off the crack, man. Why you say that to me? Shout out to Fat Joe, man. I DM'd him. He said he's gonna fuck with the show. So it's on wax. Pull up, Joe. He fucks yeah. with you. Come on, Joe, and lean back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> With your big ass. Lean back. <laughs> as big as Fat Joe is, that oh nigga God. be having them leathers that a skinny nigga be wearing. I'm telling you. All the flavors of Pelly. Oh, come on. He's the flyest big nigga out, man. Ain't That's nobody flyer than that nigga, man. That nigga got peach Pellies with <laughs> peach. I said, how did he find some peach shoes to match that motherfucker jacket, man? <laughs> I gotta ask you. I know you spent a little time in New York as a as a nat Midwest kid in New York. How was that adjustment? It was an adjustment. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Um, you know, being from Indiana, man, we 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 really pick up a little bit from everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, shit. In New York, I was a New Yorker. In L.A., I was a L.A. But I always been a nap guy. You yeah. know what I mean, but mm-hmm. you know that was that was the way that I survived and blended in, man, yeah. and handled my business and did what I had to do. You know, I teach my kids that. You know, you go to Rome, you can become a Roman. You know, but you know where you're from and know what to do. You know, yeah. and most of the time, um, uh, it was a character builder for me mm. because. Once I got to them places like New York and LA, I realized where I was from. Mm. I was like, damn. I didn't appreciate it until I got to them places. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm sitting here trying to fit in with them. And my shit is poking me. My, I yeah. got the better shit than anybody. That's how yeah. I feel in Atlanta. Right? Like, yeah, you try to fit in Atlanta. I'm like, damn, I'm from that. Like, yeah. They want to be like me. Like, That's right. Be like them. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And, and whatever that is, if, even if I'm standing by myself, guess what? I'm still standing on what's mine. Yeah. yeah. 
You know, and that's so, real. I know the L.A. life was different, boy. L.A. life is different, man. L.A. is the is the cream of the crop, man, and and all of it will suck you up and suck you in, and and. and that's crazy. No, that is no, nah, that is crazy. Yeah. We were trying to make Mike talk. Cameraman's hating. Cameraman's hating. <laughs> Look, man, well, you man. know they say it is oh. chew you up and spit you out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh. A, now that's crazy. That's Mike. crazy. I didn't that's know crazy. y'all had a freak alert on here. <laughs> <laughs> His name Mike too. Yeah, yeah, just what, we got to be careful, Mike, on this show. Mike when we is, talk about L.A. and Miami, you got to be careful with yeah. those type of use. Those Allegations. Words. Oh man, because yeah, we know how well, shit get out of L.A. Well, and Miami. Shit get spooky. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> different type of letters in Atlanta. If, if yeah. you ain't did nothing, ain't nothing to be worried about. Right, Facts. absolutely. If you do something, you got something to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> then you all, oh God. <laughs> the eyebrows start raising. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. What's your favorite place to party in though when you was partying? I know you probably chill now, but you got any memorable cities that you like partied in that you had a good ass time in? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I think uh Miami might be the might been the funnest place to party for me. Okay. Back in the day, I, ain't mad I used at to that. go to Rolex. I used Sorry. to go to you know uh, all the strip clubs. <laughs> all these all up. But the strip clubs in Miami were clubs. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The yeah. girls was just extra walking around in the club naked. They still clubs. <laughs> I, that made me think of something, Mike. When you got your first real payday, you looked at that account. It's up. What'd you burn your first bread on? Um. Quarter kilo. Tell the real. Ten pounds. <laughs> a nine eight. <laughs> no nah, man, you know what? I, I I bought my mother a wash and dryer, man. My mother needed a wash and dryer. I bought my mother a wash and dryer. You know Damn. I mean? Damn, that's real. Yeah, yeah I bought my mother wash because I'm from the dirt, man. I I came from nothing, so you know I ain't gonna be sitting here sugarcoating nothing about. What I did with my money, I bought my mama wash and dry. Right. Paid a couple of my bills off, you know what I mean? Got a couple of my teeth fixed. Your tooth is got them fixed. Yeah, yeah. But she, you was, you was ahead of time. You you didn't get the big uh, veneers like the rappers get now. No, I got a couple of them, but they ain't like the, the no. They, <laughs> I, I had a couple <laughs> left. Yeah. That couple. <laughs> These dudes didn't have none. They yeah. just put the whole thing in <laughs> there. Motherfucker with the whole Chuck E. Cheese mouth yeah. in. <laughs> For yeah, sure. I, I see what you all saying. Tell the smile. I said, man, what's going on up there? Dude, it's so road to it. Scrappy shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I did the right thing with the money. I tell you that. That's cool, man. But it's, I couldn't imagine, like you said, grinding the way you did. And then for you doing comedy, that's a different attention from movies. Which one did you prefer to do? Like, I would say probably your favorite movie or your Netflix special for comedy when you came to the crib. You know what, man? Uh, they both serve each other. If I'm doing stand-up comedy, it'll make me good in the movie. Nice. If I'm if I'm doing movies, it'll make people come out to see me do stand-up. So they both service each other, man. You okay. know. So I, I I really really need both of them. Mm. And one is not stronger than the other. That's dope. I would say. Where, uh, I guess when you get into that mode of, you know what I'm saying, all right, I'm about to tap into my comedy band, I'm about to get on stage, I'm about to go warm up. What's your inspiration? Like, do you hit a couple cities and get, you know what I'm saying, just test your ideas? Or you just like, all right, I'm locked down for a month, I ain't talking to nobody, y'all see me when I get to it? No, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm a natural comic. So I really don't have to prepare like most comics do, is because I've, Man, I I perform 52 weekends out the year. I'm always out on the road. I'm always doing six, seven shows in a city. Damn. You know, yeah, I do I do two shows on Friday, two shows Saturday, two shows Sunday. By the time it's time for me to shoot a movie or shoot a special, shit, I'm on fire because yeah. I never stop working. Mm. Okay. You know, I'm I'm always working on it. And that and that's another thing, like with the the young comics that's on TikTok and stuff like that, they don't work hard. Mm. So they really burn out quick. You see them and then they just disappear yeah. or they can't act. It's when it's time for to put them in a movie, they really not that good because they really haven't worked on it long enough. <laughs> Would you say that's the big difference between how you did uh, 
<laughs> Hell yeah, they. You did an iconic movie, you know what I'm saying? Your favorite character of his? Yeah. Powder, nigga. Baby powder. Come on, powder. <laughs> how was it doing Don't that? Nobody say that near nada. How you say that near <laughs> nada? Don't nobody say that near nada. Not a near nada. <laughs> the difference between doing the first movie and then doing the sequel where you got some of the newer guys, I'm sure that acting level was a little bit different, like you said, because of that instant success from my living room instead of having to go on through the trial area with the fire. It is. Because you're sitting there, sitting there across from somebody who's, you know, really new at it. Mm. You know how that feel, man. You yeah. Know, you've been when you're league. a rookie, and it's like being a rookie in the NBA. And you're you going both get some, of them, though, yeah, right? Yeah, going to get somebody who's been in the league for 15 years and going to get somebody their first year. Completely different. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, for sure. I wanted to ask you, nigga, I always see Ice Cube as being serious. Is he really always that serious, <laughs> like, even on nah, set? Cube or cool, man. Okay. Ice Cube is a he's he's a he's a uh a, a serious businessman. Oh, for sure. So I think I think that's the side of him that people uh perceive as being, you know, serious. Yeah, I did, and I had a two part too. I was always watching. business, but yeah. you know he's got his fun side. We seen Janky promoters. Nah, for yeah. sure. Nah, just, <laughs> nah, but I'm saying that's a crazy ass movie too. Russell but I just Red, wanted to know. Uh, yeah. That's those walk up tag. Yeah, y'all was some y'all was some raggedy. That was some rap you know, know, was. Was. My friend live in Modesto. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sick nigga, because there was some raggedy ass niggas. He's in that living movie. Modesto. Oh, he's living Modesto. <laughs> Keys, we gotta have a conversation. Hey, hey, y'all y'all was crying. some raggedy niggas in that movie. How did y'all link? How did you and Cube ever like first link up? Man, you know what? Me and Cube was uh, I was performing um on Sunset at the comedy store. And um one of my little partners, Baby Looney, rest in peace, he was telling people he was managing me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I got off stage and he said, man, Cube wanna holler at you. I'm like, what? I thought he was lying. And I seen Cube, I'm like, damn. I like, you know, you really don't say, you, you know, you say you're not starstruck, but boy, when you see somebody like mm-hmm. an Ice Cube when you're young, yeah, that sure. shit do something to you. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. You know, so he put me through the audition process and I got the role. But it wasn't easy. I, I auditioned for it for like a month. And he went out of town and went to, went on a vacation and came back and I got the role. That's a good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. You was probably in there sweating. That was the day day, right? The day day. Day day. Iconic. Name that was right 30 there. years ago. That's crazy. <laughs> and people probably still call you that when you out. Yeah, they had my, Uncle Elroy yeah. is my nigga. Yeah. Uncle Elroy, <laughs> rest in peace. Yeah. That was my nigga. Oh, no, Uncle Elroy, he's still there. I was out of here. I see him. I see him on the interview. I'm talking about John Witherspoon. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was out of Uncle Elroy on the interview the other day. I was out of here. Get your hand out my sugar bowl. You feel me knocking? Let me in. Let me in. Him telling Craig to run back to use condom is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the nastiest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Spin the block on, on the Durex is insane. That's the first DVD I ever had. Bro. I swear to God. Damn. Yep. Next Friday, first DVD yep. I ever had. Was, when I first said, wow. I didn't even know you was from that. When I found out, I'm like, oh, we spun that shit back over oh, and over sure. and over, bro. N-A-P, man. Show, sure, man. Real one heaven. Yep. Yeah, I left Indianapolis when I was 20 years old, though. 20, 21. And Damn. moved to New York. Yeah. Damn. And we I all? lived in New York for 12 years, and then I've been living in uh, in uh, L.A. Okay. The first place I went was Chicago. Ooh. Damn. Up the block. That was the first place I went. And I went and stayed up in Chicago and went to all the comedy clubs with my man Kenny Howe. Okay. Stay there for I realized I don't need to be here because this ain't what the business is. I'm then I moved to Atlanta, stayed mm-hmm. for a year, and left Atlanta and moved to L, moved to New York, stayed in New York for twelve years. But yeah, I didn't yeah. know them cities you couldn't make be a star there. I, I thought you could go to Chicago and become a star, but the business is not in no city. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. The business you. The business wasn't even in New York. Damn. Not for what I did. Ultimately, for real? That, not really. I mean, if you go to New York and uh, and you're a comic, if you don't, if you're not on Saturday Night Live, you ain't on TV. Okay, because mm-hmm. they don't have a lot of shows in yeah. New York. That makes sense. But it's a great boot camp for a comedian because it's raw up there. Yeah, 
That's why I thought you could go get your practice and shit. Your ass right there. Right. They exactly. hate everything. You can work on your craft. Right. They, 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 they shrewd. I gotta ask, man. You say you performed at the Apollo, like your first time on stage. How was it? Like, hey, the Sandman is not getting me. I didn't perform that kind of way. Like uh, the Apollo used to have guest comedian, mm. and then they had they the showcase, the showcase. Okay, okay. I was a guest comedian. Okay, you you went on the audition. Nah, I couldn't imagine that. That's a different type of pressure. They were still raw. They was booing <laughs> gospel artists. That's how I knew it was different. You booing Jesus? Y'all niggas different. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. So you disrespectful. Yeah. You're a bishop. You got respect the choir. I know, and but he's he's a ain't fake got bitch. it. We all, especially your church. It's a lot of people at friendship that can't sing, nigga. And it made me leave a couple times that week as choir. So I I get it. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. And the Lord know it too. <laughs> That nigga That's tapped me on the all. shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. He's telling them people all the time, find something else to do. You can't be an usher. Not yeah, I ain't going to do my mama like them, that, them man. Them niggas stretch them careers longer than what they should be. <laughs> <laughs> they got 360 deals in, in, in friendship. It is somebody 86 singing in the choir. Uh, oh, free, free baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Free baby girl. She shouldn't be up there working. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> they need to turn friendship into an Airbnb. Then. Yeah, it's over you with. Out of pocket. <laughs> man, hey, stop the disrespect, bro. Stop Pass the cover to me. Hey. Oh, God. Time for the one time. Hey, we got to talk about it, man. August 5th, 2023. A moment that will live in black history. The Montgomery white chair whooped down. Mike, please tell me how you man. felt when you saw that <laughs> first footage of that man going ape shit with that chair. You know what's crazy about that man is thank God for cameras and yeah. phones and shit now. Absolutely. Because just think of all the ass whoopings that people didn't got. You never could catch it on camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and it was unfair. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it just go to show you, man, that, hey, man, it can go wrong sometimes. It can go bad Yeah. for, for, for that side. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and it was just glad to see see some black people sticking together, man. For sure. More than anything. Fuck that it was they was jumping on some white people or whatever they was doing. Whatever whatever they was doing, as much as we've been through as a race. Mm -hmm. Cause didn't nobody die. Yeah. yeah. They got their ass kicked, got hit with a chair. Okay, so what? For the race, it was good to see black people Stand sticking for each other. Yeah, man, that was beautiful. When I seen the skip down the boardwalk, them, them people didn't even know each other. Nah, yeah. not at all. they that's didn't know the that part. security guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just automatically clicked. Man, let's look out for him, man. Let's yeah. help him out. Shout out to my nigga that swam across that motherfucker to help too. Legend. Man, come on, definitely. Legend. I <laughs> all need I his kept jersey. saying to myself is he ain't gonna have no win when he get out of it. He ain't that fresh from swimming. <laughs> I ain't no niggas that aquatic. I said, I don't know what he running over there for because he ain't going to be able to breathe when he get out of there, folks. I mean, he was hitting the hard. He was doing that motherfucker hard as hell. He went to the YMCA growing up. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, man, it was crazy. It was crazy. But but like I said, man, it was good to see mm -hmm. black men sticking together. That's yeah, man, place. that's crazy. We went from seeing that to seeing Tim Anderson getting pieced up. You, are you still over that, man? Man, it was a blind punch, man. Hey, a win is a win, man. It's Nobody a win. Close your eyes and swing. Once you it's throw your win. hands up, bro, it's game time. Nah, facts, facts. You know what I mean? He, he took it. See how Craig did D-Ball? See how Craig did D-Ball? Tim Anderson was crib walking back to the dugout. <laughs> <laughs> they carried my boy like he had just hit the loud. I'm like, damn, Tim, stand up. <laughs> Don't do Tim like that. Shout, Shout out to my to boy, Tim, Tim man. Oh, that's your man? That's my man. Oh, that's, that's why you yeah, but it was a blind, it's a blind punch. Man. Wow, See, look, now, man. now we growing by you know seeing the relationships. You know, saying so we start to see who really like me. I, that's oh, why man. you had that stage. Yeah, man. I know Tim. Shout out to my dog, that. man. Yeah. Back on some Naptown shit though, bro. You got any Dolphin Willie stories for us? Come on, man. That was my man Willie Hawkins. Yes, sir. Oh, man, Willie please. Hawkins, man. We had so many. Man, we had some great nights, great fun. Yeah, man, Dauphine Willie, man. He was in the Master P movies. Mm -hmm. yep. If y'all don't know who that is. Right. A lot of youngsters don't know. Nah, they don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. About it. <laughs> yeah, he was a dude that could have made it, man, but he just didn't, he never left Indianapolis. So, you know, one thing about being from Indianapolis, if you don't leave, mm -hmm. you might not never see the greatness of who you are. You know what I mean? You might not really see 
uh, you know, what you can really do. Uh, for sure. You got to leave here, man, and pair yourself up. Yeah. So I used to always tell this motherfucker, man, quit he, trying to come back. You see his stupid ass it. jersey. Look at that dumb ass number. <laughs> he finally did Fucking it. Fucking full back. <laughs> you know why I wore that number, man? <laughs> You they know gave why I wore 44. Now nah, I wore 44 so I could do this to the crowd. Because I'm from out west. <laughs> <laughs> you got it before. <laughs> what was your original number, man? That was my number, 44. But I wore a zero most of my career. Yeah. I wore a zero because of uh, Gilbert Arenas. But Shout to Gil. that was my favorite player. Yeah, zero is better than 44 for sure. <laughs> hey, man. He's a hey. That's definitely a, 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 a big man's number. <laughs> That's what I said. That's the last jersey a motherfucker gets. I wore it in high school. My brother wore 44 when he was in high school. Wow. So I, I wanted to be like him. And hey. then when I came back home. Oh, uh, Terrell? Like, yeah. Yeah, Terrell was definitely a four. 42 is a good number. <laughs> hey. 45, 47. 43. I seen 43, 41. Yeah. Yeah, them, them niggas weren't respected for real. I ain't never seen nothing past 45. <laughs> No, they had some forty five. Couple niggas had fifty. Chuck Paxson was who? Uh, Zebo. <laughs> Zebo yeah, had Z-Bo 50, got fifty. Real one. Yep. Yeah, but he real was big 50. though. Corey McGetty. No Corey McGetty. Corey McGetty. Yeah, he had 50. muscles. Only niggas who could wear above forty five had to have. He like, was like, cold. He was. Corey McGetty wore fifty. Damn, Zebo. They had. Hey. What, what was Greg number? I mean, he was fifty. A fifty. Yeah. Hey man, I want to ask y'all some sports questions. Oh, let's For get sure. it. We love this part. Ready? Yeah. They're not really sports questions, but. Have you ever seen in your whole, I mean, your existence of knowing basketball and not nobody that went pro, but have you ever seen somebody that was like 5'10", but they could play center? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> That's him. Mike. He played center at Broad Ripple. You, you were beating the first stretch four. <laughs> stretch Hindi. Oh, stretch him later. Bro, he was 5'10 no, center. No, no, real shit. He's 5'10 center. He you played bet with, your first nigga, bro. He played with bro. George Hill. You bet your first nigga, bro. For sure. That is wild. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. <laughs> for real. He was Dead saying, he was saying screw you know, I played Hill. big for sure. Like, I played one, too, because my hand was pity patty crazy. But I, but I get Yicky crazy. Cap. But yeah, but I, I played big because we was undersized. So I was the, you know, biggest nigga on the team. Body that wild. is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, bro. Double, he was double George Hill Hennie. Center, bro. He double, went to double Like you said, that two, that two game rule, that was having that two. So he yeah, had double, to double, the five. Double, double Henny. You know what I mean? For sure. I love that, man. They gave me that weak-ass jersey, too. <laughs> well, my coach was special ed, though. I, <laughs> I had to... What number you wore? <laughs> he was dyslexic. They gave me 40. <laughs> that was the number. Yeah, then I switched to five, though, because I really hoop like KG. Ah, here so you go. That's where it was. <laughs> <laughs> then we moved to 21. Cal guy? <laughs> Nah, fuck Cal guy. Shout out to Cal though. <laughs> but I was the first. The real I'm case. shitty. He really said that. I'm thinking this nigga about to say something serious. <laughs> that was serious. Seen a nigga that was five ten to play center. Nigga, you'd have been to a dust bowl game before. I, that's where I seen it. <laughs> at. <laughs> I see. I I could. Hey man, that shit always blew my mind. <laughs> That's him. To see a dude 5'10 playing center. <laughs> That's legit him, bro. That's above the rim. <laughs> For sure, bro. That's the same crazy. three highlights that they put in above the rim. <laughs> That's one of the greatest basketball movies of all time. But Tommy Shepard hit that mid-range jump shot 18 times in a row. Yeah, that movie is cap. I hate yeah. that movie. Above they, the rim. Yeah, because they should have just showed more highlights. Like I like Tupac, but other than that, it was kind of weak. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah, they was kind of. <laughs> Like, what's your favorite sports movie? That was a fake Rucker game. Yeah, oh, like, it was, sure. they should have showed a little something different. Real Rucker. Oh, m- what's my favorite movie? Yeah. Man. Sports. No, nah, any, period. Sports yeah. movie? Yeah, you know, whatever movie. Oh, watching. any movie. Um, I'm not going to lie. Not my favorite movie, but one of them is Dead Presidents. I like mm-hmm. Dead Presidents. I really one. enjoyed that movie. The only That's reason cool. why I said it, because I just seen it again out of nowhere, and I was like, damn. That was a good ass movie. What about Harlem Nights? I love that movie. Oh, yeah. I wish y'all could remake on, that man. motherfucker, bro. I'm yeah. trying to, we trying to do something like that right now with Kevin Hart. Meet Kevin Hart and all the rest oh, of the dudes. Shit. Oh, that's gonna be fire. be fire. That's fire. Hell yeah. We're trying to do something like that. It's Damn. Really trying to do something like it. Harlem Nights would yeah. be crazy. Nah, especially now. Like, Who y'all gonna get to boss? play old girl though? The big girl. 
Monique. Uh, <laughs> out the gate. Or, uh. Why'd you laugh right now? Nah, because what's old girl? What's Uncle Elroy's wife? In Friday, his Might girl. Might get Big Lizzo. <laughs> oh, for sure. The biggest. Or Belly. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get Mark Henry for that motherfucker for sure. Big Lizzo. Yeah. She's she already trending slapping too? motherfuckers right now. <laughs> She'll turn y'all shit up. <laughs> Don't let her get the Amazon Fresh yeah, and Bananas Club. It's gonna get real spooky on set. Hell yeah, put Hurricane <laughs> in that motherfucker for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was some of the wildest shit I ever man, seen. Man, what is wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> they were so ready to turn yeah, on her. Yeah, when they got the report, they were just like, yeah, we've been ready to talk about this. Nah, that movie gonna go crazy. I remake that. Man, for yeah. sure. Because all the characters are there. All we gotta do is just replace them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Damn, that's funny to the bitch. I got a question for you, Mike. How you feel about Tubi? Tubi? Yeah. I, I'm not even familiar with it. For real? Is that a network? Oh, you gotta tap in. You got yeah, no, you don't. Yeah. You no, you don't. Tap in. No, you, you don't. You above and beyond that. Oh, no, you don't need to be on it, but you need to see some of that shit that's on there. Is that, that an app like oh, Instagram? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's like a TV, though. It's they like got Netflix. It's like Hulu, like bro. Netflix type shit. With the hood like, version. Yeah. Yeah. For it's sure. Like, Half the movies like are filmed in Detroit. version of Netflix. Yeah. Oh, I like can't. Like Paper wait. Soldiers and shit would have been on there. Uh, yeah, see, the thing about that is, you know, I don't want to look at some shit that's not of quality because yeah, yeah, believe it or not, you can ruin your lens with that shit. <laughs> oh, you don't go on too. Yeah. Don't serious. do it. Well, you can, that, don't you do can ruin too. your own lens. Like you can ruin yourself looking at low quality shit. Ooh, so when yeah. it's time for me to go do it, you find yourself, you like, where the fuck did I pick that bullshit up at? <laughs> I'm yeah. just being honest. Nah, nah, for sure. Don't go on Tubi. That's then. anything. Nah, that's a fact, though. If you, you gotta, go watch basketball like that, you start oh. watching poor basketball, you'll fuck around and start doing That's real, that's right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real, man. You you got to be careful of what you consume because this shit is... <laughs> yeah, is that your next movie that you working on, though, with Kevin Hart and them, or you got something else in there? No, nah, I got a movie coming out uh, with Snoop Dogg called Underdogs. It's about his uh, football league. Oh, that's oh okay. <clears throat> And I'm playing one of the coaches. That's love, but, though. Yeah, it's still yeah. I'm still I'm still appreciative of it. And um, I did another movie with Sonia Lathan coming out called Young, Wild, and Free. Uh, Pretty good movie. So, um, they got a Hollywood strike right now. Yeah, yeah. you're excited now. I was gonna ask you the about writers, that. right? Um, the writers and the actors as well. Yeah. Um, with us having such a prominent space in YouTube, do you think a lot of like? comedians or entertainers are gonna probably transition to other things while this is going on. Cause like, obviously with you being- Well, we the only one working, y'all. Me, people who have these type of jobs are the mm. only ones working right now. We fortunate enough to be able to do it because you know, everybody else is under the union. And man, we don't know what this thing gonna do, man. You know, they, they fighting for residuals. They fighting for wages, money, um, because the streamers, they don't want to give up anything. They Damn. figured out a way where they don't have to pay people. And um, and now they figure out trying to figure out a way to replace your ass. Yeah. They got this AI situation in the movie business. <clears throat> and, you know, once they start uh, implicating that in our businesses, it's over with anyway. You know? Now, now, now people's people people's jobs are gonna have to be associated with working with that. Mm. If you're not working with that, you don't have a job. Man. Hey, I shit the devil, boy. Nah, it's crazy. Cause like even with musicians, you'll hear a song, you'll be like, he didn't make that song. They made this on the keyboard, but it sounds like it. Well, see, what they realize what they don't realize with that is, is that Nobody with real substance is gonna want to listen to some fake shit. Yeah, Actually. right. If, if my mind is clicking to me, telling me that that ain't the real, dra I'm not listening to that shit. Hell no. You can't. You can't Period. imitate soul. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hear it, man. You know. So that's what that's where they at in Hollywood with it, man. And we just gotta figure out different ways to 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 bring some income in, man. It's a million ways to make money out here. You gotta. Buckle down and figure it out. Agreed. Yeah. All right. Well, I got a question. I'm a hoop. Yeah. I hooped all my life. Yeah. You've been watching basketball for years. Who are your top five favorite players? My top five favorite players? Yeah. 
Don't say no bullshit, man. Reggie make the cut. Reggie Miller? Mm -hmm. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> um <laughs> I would say Reggie might be one of one of one of my favorite fives because I'm from Indiana. Yeah. He always represented us. And I always, you know, rooted for Reggie. He's definitely one of my five. I got I gotta have somebody from Indiana Respect. in my five. Respect. Michael Jordan, definitely. <laughs> Out the gate. Yeah. Julius Irvin. I used to love Julius Irvin. I used to love Dominic Wick Wilkins. Mm. Man. That's my guy. I used to love Dominic. That's my man. guy. Yeah. He and you know what one thing about Dominic, he was really unorthodox. He was really like Really nigga, wasn't like nigga bow He wasn't like nobody. <laughs> he wasn't, and he and, and I Long mean, hell. He, I mean, his he really damn near. He played different from any player I ever seen yeah. ever play. His jump shot was different. He had an ugly jump shot. It just went in. Yeah, yeah it yeah, was like Eric. A, <laughs> yeah, it was, that it motherfucker was, was ugly. He walked like Kenny Smith. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> he, he was cold. He, he was cold. He was cold. He was bad. Yeah. He he definitely was one of my favorites. And Damn. um uh, Mike got our old niggas on his shit. He might like you like how about I'm Kobe? An old nigga. <laughs> oh, definitely Kobe, man. Kobe was cold, man. Kobe. That ain't bad. So Reggie Miller is the greatest pacer ever to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, out of pocket. You know any other great places? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Travis <laughs> Best ain't walking through that door, B. Fuck here. that. Give me. <laughs> Jamal, where you nah, at? Nah, I'm going to keep it a bean. Yeah, I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. Chuck Person. Nah, shout out to Chuck. <laughs> Chuck a filthy nigga, but shout out to Chuck. Hey, Chuck give, free, respect <laughs> Nah, give me Paul George over Rich. I'm not. Nah. Nah. Okay. Paul George, I'm what sorry. Did, Paul George didn't do anything in Indiana. He killed, he killed in Indiana. He yeah, did, but, but he didn't. killed in Indiana. Don't do that. Don't do Reggie that, Mike. Reggie killed for 20 years. Don't do that, Mike. Paul, every year, Paul George got up to LeBron and he failed. Well, I mean, that's everybody, Mike. Yeah, that's Brown, well, You can't though. be playing ball with him in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not finna be your friend, nigga, and I'm trying to beat you this winter. <laughs> I fuck, I, I fuck with that. The really NBA is friendly. <laughs> the NBA is friendly, but y'all play football back then. That shit wasn't really basketball for real. Like, yeah, I was, get it. Don't be friends, but y'all y'all was out of pocket. Yeah, Julius Irving. You know? yeah, yeah, come on, bro. Bill Lambeer and Rick Mahorn started on the team. They smoking cigarettes at halftime on the championship team. Niggas rolled breaking up forties, like <laughs> smoking cigarettes at halftime. Now we need to bring that back to the league. That'd be hard. If I see nigga rolling up at halftime, that's hard. Yeah, hell no. If nah, I see LeBron yeah. rolling a joint at halftime and go get forty, that's elite. Nah, no, it's not, bro. You out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. you you out of pocket. Yeah, that's some slam. You, ball where shit. Bron? Bron not top five for you? LeBron. Yeah. Uh, nah. <laughs> You more of a Julius, I mean, a Magic Johnson. I told you, I like the old guys, man. Yeah, nah, I'm a, right. I'm a, it's not that he's not top five. It's I, your era. You I'm just like he like. You think you it was more competitive? Nerd named all the old dudes. Yeah, you definitely it's what did. You, like. yeah. you know what I'm saying? They so, feel like people his age feel like motherfuckers are more no competitive. To, to, to the, no, I like the young guys mm -hmm. too, but I'm just telling you that that I just grew up in an era watching basketball different than what it is now. Mm -hmm. No, I respect it. You know what I mean? Basketball now is different than what it was when I grew up watching basketball. Man, it was like everybody was a star then. Who, back when you played? No, back when basketball was playing, when they was back in the day, when it, when it was, man, I mean, they had some dudes. They had a dude named Xavier McDaniel. Mm -hmm. Yep. X, man. He's the Pacers was, for a second. Man, these was dudes that was, I mean, Boy, only old nigga <laughs> I really showed some some real respect was Bernard King. He was a walking bucket. He was cold, man. They had walking a bucket. lot of them. Walking they bucket, had, man. They had dudes. Ron Harper, cold yeah. in Cleveland. Before he, got he hurt. was one of the Before first big PGs hurt. that really did their thing. Not for he got hurt, he was cold. Yeah, six six PG for sure. He up Jordan with them with them other titles. Nah, so before he was with Jordan, he was real cold. Yeah, that was going crazy in Cleveland. Yeah. What college did you go to? Jeff? I went to Wake Forest. You went to Wake Forest, yep. Tim Duncan. Yep. Woo. Timmy D code too. So you and him might be the only guys that came out of there. Chris, no, Paul. Chris Paul. Chris Paul did. Chris Paul came out of there too. Muggsy Bogues. 
Yeah. Damn, Rusty I forgot Bo. my name. Rodney Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my, I always put respect, Al Farouk Aminu came out of there. Shout out to Chief. James yeah. Ishmael. Oh, they had a great, they had a great program then. Yeah, we nah, got, yeah. We got The lineage pro. is there. Yeah, it's there. You man, supposed to go to Purdue, though. You was? I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> man, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you didn't go to Purdue. I wasn't supposed to go there, man. <laughs> you wasn't supposed to go there. Nah, man, they we and Purdue got beef, signing. man. <laughs> He called them and said, I'm coming. They said, they get worried. They said they had no scholarship <laughs> for me. <laughs> Fuck you pulling up so <laughs> Man, I just did a show uh, in North the- Carolina, man. I went on stage with a Duke jersey on. Ah, they kill That's you my- over there. They booed the shit out <laughs> of me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, kill you I over said, there. Don't nobody the like. Fuck? Don't nobody like Duke. Ah, nigga, who jersey you have? Like, I tell you that. I don't know. I just had a Duke jersey, y'all. He <laughs> got a black Duke. Yes, I came. I said, ah. They was like, yeah, boy. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you gotta wear a Tar Heel jersey, bro. <laughs> you out of pocket? Yeah, you gotta. Hey, wear when you. I seen you with, uh, with fifty a couple weeks ago, when I seen the jersey you had, I said, might be at the crib. Why you got the Miss jersey? Who? <laughs> what jersey have on? Nets. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I I I I, I, I rep the Pacers. You do game. though, nah, no, you, no. you do. Pacers, Pacers and, and Coach. And yeah, more, and more importantly, rep. coming up, we got a great season with the Coach. We got a young black quarterback. First time the Coach really gonna let him rock out. And more importantly, we got the All Star game in the city. I know damn well they better be handing you the keys to handle all that. Cause I saw what they did with comedy me in Chicago. Jeff gonna, me and Jeff gonna do a party. Yeah, comedy show slash party. Uh, hell yeah! Out the gate. I just got hype. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. I'm glad you said that on tape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gonna have a cigar lounge while the party is happening. It's gonna be. It's we gonna have it right. Oh uh, yeah, ladies, the nice ladies. We gonna have the VIPs. The nice up. ladies. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be cigars. It's gonna be. On one side, you're gonna have the, the, the mad DJ on the one side with the music playing. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. I'm looking sure. forward to that. Mike Epps, Jeff T. Hey. Yeah. Right. Jeff T, first. Mike Epps. Yeah. Fuck with it. Yeah, right. No Jake and hey. Official. No, no Jake and promoters. No. No, no Russell Red. Yeah. I can see us now running around with a suit on. Oh, he definitely one of them niggas. Uh, <laughs> that's cute for sure. <laughs> Where's Mondo? Yeah. <laughs> with the nigga with the Chrysler 300 with the rims. Y'all niggas is crazy. <laughs> Oh. oh man, man! Before we got out of here, Mike, please, man, please tell us, man. The people <laughs> want to know what you got going on. What's what's your goal to close out this year with? Hey man, this year, my goal is to make sure Hollywood come back because <laughs> <laughs> they on strike right now. <laughs> so I don't know what this year is gonna be, but I got a tour coming up, yes, sir. hosting. Um, I'm gonna be hosting with DC Young Fly, Carlos Miller. Yep. Chico Bean, D. Ray Davis, oh, and Little Duval. It's oh, coming fire. up this year. Our first day to be in January. I'm gonna be hosting. That's gonna be one of the biggest comedy tours ever. Um, that's starting at the, the the first of the year. And like I said, I got the movies coming out, man. And you know, I'm just hey, trying to stay in the game, man. Put out good work, and uh, you know, keep proceeding. Love, man, bro. we want to say thank you. First and foremost, not even man, for coming thank here. Man. Wow. Thank you for representing our city the way we want to be represented, bro. Because sure. we don't have a lot of people out there. Like, we got people from the city, but they don't always come back. They may not show how we really what. And we appreciate you being that beacon of life for the city out in Hollywood to show people, hey, we thank got God, here too. Thank God we got some fly guys, man, representing too. Uh, appreciate sure. that. On, on the podcast side, yeah, man. Appreciate home, that, bro. man. We only growing from here, man. Come on, man. We sure. got the bitch, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he caters yeah. inside Shout people. out to the Church. QKW. <laughs> I'm going to have to put Mike the on. Bishop. You got to come speak. <laughs> got to come speak for the Queens, Kings, and Whores. Bishop Don Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Tabernacle. <laughs> Bring the green suit. <laughs> and a man. For sure, nigga. Yeah. Out the gate, you know that? No. Like, share, subscribe. All that good shit. Club 520. We'll be back next week. Peace. It's a wrap. Man, appreciate it. Legend, dog. Anytime, man.